Good afternoon, everybody. Today, the Nagaland Law Students Federation is gathered out here to announce to the people of Nagaland that we are organizing a two-day seminars on the issues confronting the state of Nagaland. As we all know that in no society, corruption can be 100% free. And we also never dreamed of a 100% free corrup corruption-free society. However, there has to be a certain limit in everything. And it is of the fact that our state, the, our state of affairs, the, the present days we are living, we are, going, we are going far ahead of everything when it comes to corruption. And the NLSF is very pain to see it. And we also had a talk among ourselves and we thought that at least through this press conference we will be able to bring something good bring something good to the to the state of Nagaland and we will be able to educate the citizens of Nagaland regarding the pressing corruption that is destroying our states and today with that in mind our federation has decided to give this press conference to announce to one and all the concerned citizens that we will be organizing a two-day press conference. And it is, it, will, it is our firm belief that every intellect Nagas, every sane Nagas will be, will be viewing our program and will be, and will be, and will cooperate with the NLSF as we try our best to improve the Naga society in whatever small way we can. Seminar we are having on 28th and 29th, that is tomorrow. And the seminar starts at 10 a.m. And the venue, the venue it's, it's at Hotel Saramati Conference Hall. Yeah, uh, by the grace of God, we have got every we have got enough resource person, and we also would like to thank all the resource person. When when we approached them, everybody agreed to us, and we have eight resource person, leading by our honourable Dr. S. C. Jamir, Sir Kikia IAS retired, Sir Kolomero social activist, Mr. Gewang Konyak, intending candidate. 43 AC and Mr. Meshin Lokat, Sir Kahuto Chishi, Convener Concerned People's Organization, and Sir Sir Kezakoto Savi, President Nagaland Voluntary Consumer Association. And we also have Dr. Tia Sinap Amri, Assistant Professor, Nagaland University. Okay, yeah. Regarding this topic of federation, we also had a nice deliberation and there are many topics that is confronting the Naga society and even if you want, definitely even in the days to come, if everything permits, we will be, we will try to again pick up even other issue. But we thought and we decided that the first step will be taken up is let us try to deal with corruption, let us try to deal on this topic first. And that is the reason why today this topic, we have made it a very straightforward topic and we have deliberated and decided to pick up this topic for this very seminar. So the two-day event is particularly going to be on corruption only, the topic of corruption only. So have you given any uh, particular topic to any of the resource persons such as you know? Yes, yes, we have, we have given the topic to all the resource persons. Can you highlight some of the topics as in? Okay. The first topic on the first day, Dr. our Honorable Dr. S. C. Jamer will be speaking as the first speaker, and he will be speaking on the topic, the role of APEC students body then and now. And our second speaker will be Mr. Kezekoto Savi, Assistant Professor, Kohimalo College, President, Nagaland Voluntary Consumers Organization, and he will be speaking on the topic, the legal status, power, functions of civil the legal status, power, and functions of civil society organization. And our after on the first day after lunch break, our third speaker will be Rodotia Sinap Amri. 
and he will be speaking on the topic, the role of pressure groups in a modern democratic society. Number, our number four speaker will be Sir Colomero, social activist. His topic is the obstacles facing the Naga entrepreneurs. And on the first day, we have a, we have a five speaker. And the last speaker will be Engineer Mission Lekat, Convener Combined Technical Association of Nagaland. He will be speaking on the topics, realities facing the pressure groups in Nagaland. The extent to, as we are all human beings, it's very difficult to say, to state our project that expectation as of now. But I believe the Naga, I mean, there are many activists trying their best to revive the mind and thoughts of the Nagas. And majority of the Nagas, as we all know, we complain usually at home, sitting at home, but it's very difficult for us to come out and hit the street. And to be, to, it's very difficult to, for us to come out and try to be the harbinger of changes. And we believe through this seminar, we at least want to convince some handful right-thinking citizens to come out and speak that black is black and white is white. And I believe it may take some time, but our, our, this very seminar will also help us towards bringing some little changes. And that is our frame fact. Yeah, NLSF as an office, it has been conducting many events, but regarding this dinner, our dinner, 2022 2024, this is the first event we are conducting. Are there any plans of like, adopting any kind of resolutions after the seminar? Regarding adopting resolution and whatever, that too, during the seminars, they will be questioning our, and since we have, we are inviting almost all the students from Nagaland University. In Nagaland, we are grateful now that we have a, some few handful universities, and so we have invited all of them, and after every speech, if time permits, we will try to have questioning hour, and we will even try to have the deliberation with all the concerned students, and as per the will of the majority, if need be, we will come out with any resolution, and regarding resolution, we are ready. However, we will only be going for resolution or no resolution, only taking the consent of the students who attend the program. And nothing will be done without the consent of the students present. Okay, regarding our seminar earlier, I have stated about our first day seminar, and on the second day, we have we have Mr. KK Sema, IAS, retired as a first speaker, and he will be speaking on the topic, the role that civil society organization have played in Naga peace process. And Mr. Gewang Konyak, intending candidate for the third AC Tapi, will be speaking on difficulties facing educated Nagas. And after lunch break, Mr. Kahutu Chichi, convener concerned people of Nagaland, will be speaking on the topic, the need for an independent and impartial students' party. And after that, we will have a discussion hour and as per the discussion, let us see what the students attendees' view and opinion will be. That's all. Thank you very much.